Thank you all for coming today. Tomorrow the City Council will debate two resolutions calling for privatization of tax collections, tax calculations and collections, as well as conducting an audit of the city's tax programs. This is a very important debate for the future of the city, and I certainly welcome uh, us having that debate. Correcting tax errors is an issue that many jurisdictions across Maryland are grappling with, including Baltimore City. I share the council's concern, and, and my administration has made up uh, more ground finding and correcting errors than any administration has done before us. But more work must be done, and we want it to be with constructive partners. Uh, we want the council to, to work with us as constructive partners in figuring out the best path forward. I've invited a finance official from Montgomery County to join us today to share their experiences as well as to note how Baltimore has helped to set the standard for best practices in Maryland. But before he speaks, let me say a few words about what we've, uh, what we've gotten right in Baltimore. Our administration is not an anti-audit administration. Audits occur all the time in Baltimore City government. The finance department is already being audited. We also created the Billing Integrity Unit because we're concerned that not enough audits were being uh, performed. With only two staffers in the Billing Integrity Unit, two staffers in auditing, the Billing Integrity Unit has identified and corrected thousands of errors that persisted for several years be before we came into office. Mistakes that were either not caught by previous audits or perhaps were overlooked because not enough audits were occurring. This year, our audits have identified over $11 million in tax revenue that was lost over the past decade. Uh, where other administrations failed to correct the problem, we have stepped in with solutions that are saving the taxpayers millions of dollars in revenue that would have otherwise been lost. The Finance Department is re-engineering the tax credit, tax credit system to proactively stop errors from happening not just find them after the fact. These are real and positive reforms for the citizens of Baltimore. We know from the work of the, the Billing Integrity Unit that the way forward in addressing this problem is continuing to focus on modernizing the system while ensuring that our audits don't slow down reform. An audit now without the reforms fully in place would not save, the, would not show the current re-engineering process that has proven to be the only viable mechanism to date for actually eliminating errors. It would only duplicate costs to taxpayers because audits are already occurring both through the work of the Billing Integrity Unit as well as under legislation already on the books. Furthermore, our team is, is audited 100% of the tax credits and corrected errors as they're finding them. This is a challenge that government across the state of Maryland are working to confront, not just Baltimore, our city has been a leader on this issue, and others are coming to us. They are seeking us as best practices that they can put into place. That is a tremendous turnaround from where we were when my administration took office. And I've made it clear that I wasn't interested in kicking the can down the road when it came to this issue. We rolled up our sleeves and we went to work, which is exactly what the taxpayers expect of us. It's important that we're allowed to continue that work. Our efforts have been recognized by others around the state, and Baltimore City can take pride in that. Now I would like to invite Joe Beach, Director of the Department of Finance from Montgomery County, to say a few words about some of the best practices that they've found from the good work we're doing right here in Baltimore. Joe? Thank you very much, Mayor Florence. Uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to be here today. Um, when, about 18 months ago, when Montgomery County formed their tax compliant unit, we did it uh, based in very large part on the efforts of the uh, Bill Voorhees and the City of Baltimore and their own uh, unit there. Since then, we, we've had ongoing discussions with Bill. We've uncovered or identified about 5,000 accounts we believe need to be corrected. We've recovered already within that 18 months about a million dollars in additional revenue uh, for the county, and that will continue to uh, accumulate uh, over the years as well and maintain the integrity of our assessment records. Uh, in addition to that, when we started our own county stat unit about five or six years ago, Mr. Leggett did, we also visited the city of Baltimore, visited city stat, and had a lot of great lessons learned from that. And we've used our own county stat office 
to do some review and monitoring and analysis on assessments as well. And that's given us uh, a lot of effectiveness in uh, doing our own job. Uh, and so we very much appreciate the, the partnership here, uh, the, the expertise and experience we've learned from Bill and the uh, Department of Finance staff and uh, we think it's been an excellent example for us uh, as well. I also understand the city is also now appealing assessments to make sure uh, that they're accurate and equitable, and that's something Montgomery County uh, has been doing uh, as well, uh, that sort of ongoing monitoring and analysis to make sure assessments are fair and that they're accurate uh, is a best practice. It's something we do in Montgomery County, I understand they do it here in the city of Baltimore as well. Uh, so I, I, I very much appreciate the partnership and the excellent work you're doing. Thank you very much, Jeff. I think we're open up for a few questions. Thank, Thank you again. You're saying that you came to Baltimore to learn from Baltimore City? That's right. Um, I actually read in the, uh, the papers about the, the success of the uh, tax compliance Billy unit, integrity. Billy Integrity Unit. And so I, I got a hold of Bill and called him. <clears throat> And there were already some uh, efforts underway locally to do that, um, but we uh, wanted to talk to Bill, sort of learn their lessons, how they were going about it. Uh, so yeah, in very large part, uh, we based it on, on their own program. Mayor, I understand the uh, points you've been making about what the Building Integrity Program has, has done, um, but you're kind of holding up Baltimore as a model, and yet the finance department is still trying to get right hundreds of tax bills for the current year and they're going about it in a way that's, that's pretty secretive. Why is that? I don't believe but, that that to be the case. But I'm curious to hear your, your response as mayor. Well, well the, I just believe that your characterization is untrue. Okay, well, there's some specific questions I could ask, and maybe you can answer one you can answer right now. You've got this whole historic tax credit issue. Um, I've been trying for weeks to find out a list of the addresses of these um, you know, revised historic tax credits. Um, I've been trying to find, so, out, what, find out what happened, I'll say whether this, these bills I'll went up or down. I, I've been getting no, no, nothing in the way of specificity from, from So the that's department. different. Sure that's, that's different than being uh, secretive. Um, you, make, um, you make significant asks of us to turn over information while we're doing our job. You know, while I believe in a perfect world, we would just respond to your request for information and maybe we would get it in a way that you thought was timely, but that's not, that's not what we're here to do. So we are getting you the information, we're working on it. Like I said, the, the, the facts are the facts as far as the reforms that my administration has put in place. Because you don't get the information as fast as you would like, doesn't mean that we're working in secret. But respectfully, these are basic questions that we've asked and not gotten the answers to, and haven't gotten the you information asked, as to You ask 20 to 30 basic questions a week. You ask for a lot of information. Well, guess, so, so these basic questions that are at issue right now is, where's the list of these properties? Why won't you release that? We've previous, previously responded to your request. Uh, we are not tracking each of those individual accounts. And we have responded to you and answered that to your uh, satisfaction in the past. Maybe not to your satisfaction, but we have provided the response to you. Do you not know? What's happened, you, you have taken, here's what happened. You revised a whole bunch of historic tax credits. You, you, you reissued them in July after doing this long analysis and said you corrected a lot of errors that have been made by the state in the past. And here we are in, in November, and just in the last few weeks, you have reissued several hundred of those bills. And I'm trying to find out what, in what way those were revised and why they've been revised, and nobody has told me. Okay. We issue tax bills every July. Bills are revised on an ongoing basis based on receiving updated information from the State Department of Assessments and Taxation. Bills are revised continuously throughout the fiscal year, and that is what is occurring. But again, there are 315 people who were told, sorry, your tax bill is going up because of mistakes by the state. At last check, 200 of those people, those property owners, had gotten revised bills. So that's that's two thirds of that group. And then another 100 were still under review by the finance department mm -hmm. because you're waiting on some more information from the state. So if those get revised, and that means almost 100% of those specific bills are gonna be, will have been revised 
based on what was issued in, in, uh, in July. And that's, that's almost 100%. Surely you don't, you don't revise 100% of the tax bills in the city. No, and we're not revising 100% of the bills. There are approximately 1,300 recipients of the historic tax credit. So we're referring to approximately a fourth of the 1,300. So it's not 100% of the individuals receiving the historic tax credit. The issue for the revised bills is the fact that we have received updated assessment information from SDAT related to assessment appeals, assessment revisions, and corrected homestead tax calculations that the state is responsible for. When the city receives that information, the city uh, recalculates the credits and issues revised bills. It's as simple as that, and that's what occurred. And that's what is occurring. What is the line of questions back? Does anybody have that question? I guess, I, just, I guess the question is, why should the, why should the public have confidence in these changes that you've made when, when all of this is going on with the historic credit, even as we speak, and there's been no real clarity as to why it's happening, what the impact is going to be on these homeowners? Many I would say this, if the, if the, if the public's assessment account, of confidence box. is on how happy you are with my administration, then no, they won't be happy. But if they're looking for real reforms that are the model for the state, if they're looking for an administration that is determined to get it right when it comes to tax calculations, that's looking for errors, that's performing the audits, that's saving the, the taxpayers millions of dollars, I think that's what satisfies. Um, the citizens. That's certainly what I'm. That what they say that they want. None of them have mentioned making sure that we're making you happy. Madam yeah, Mayor, it seems that you're doing a lot to bring attention to kind of take attention away from Councilman Stokes's resolution in regards to what the city is doing as far as getting the tax the getting the tax calculations more accurate. Um, I, forgive me for not finding the proper words to say, but. Is, is this kind of a way of uh, going ahead or kind of usurping them? Absolutely not. I mean, this is a, this is a collaborative process. You know, this is a, I mean, every time the city council has an issue, I work in collaboration to make sure that we're getting it right. The issue with this audits is we're not against audits. We just want to make sure that they're done in a timely way and they're, they're not wasteful of the taxpayer's money. I'm I, in. The effort to come here today and when we talked before, we're making sure the public understands all of the work that's been done to reform the system. We want to make sure that information is out there. The, the work that we're doing, the fact that, this, that other jurisdictions are coming to us as best practice is evidence of the fact that we are getting it right. And I want people to understand that this is not about a, their, a, a reluctance to do the work necessary to make sure that the, the, the tax bills are correct. That's exactly what my administration is committed to. And we started this uh, reforms and the hard work of this reforms and creating the Bill in Integrity um, Unit before any media inquiry because we wanted to make, because I wanted to make sure we were getting it right. Will the administration be saying as much tomorrow evening during the hearing? I don't know. We'll see. Thank you.